see Zai making his return into the competitive scene here, so I'm excited. And then for Pro Dota, we've got Boogie on the Disruptor, Garda on the Sans. Can they actually I really kill like what... uh, I think, yeah, they've got him with the yeah. second Void, I think. I really like what he did, though, at the start, because... Oh, he's eating his way through the trees. Uh, not gonna be enough here. Gets the range on the Void. Farm up for his blink, the less useful he's gonna be throughout the game. Ambo doing, doing a bit of too much baiting here. Our seven charges on top of him. The coon, he really wants to go for it. Zai even has the TP in. Try and turn us around. They will be able to barely. Uh, so, so when's the time we would expect this? Oh god, maybe right now. He glimpses back onto Zai into the stun. Gata pops his ultimate. Get a couple of swipes in here. Reaction stare from Bambo. Might be able to make a trade into it for Boogie, but Gata. Well, he blocks Bambo in. Just goes for the man fight. His mastermind even joins. Sing Sing kind of finds himself in a bit of a precarious position. And has to drop the call to get himself out alive. So it's a two for one trade after all. Level 7 really showing it. Getting another solo kill. Just TPing out. They do see him though. Get the cancel. Has to eat a mango. Just a Shikuchi out. Masterminds. Uh, can I actually keep track of him? They do have a sentry. And there's no way to go. So yeah, that should be right click down. Mastermind. Stacking that killing spree away. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map. Nature's Prophet dies to the Phoenix as the Phoenix tried to deny himself. The sexy Bambo made a trade out of it. God is not quite done yet here. Bit of an extra stun off. That stun from the center though. Well, it's n not that easy to punish like the Weaver anymore. It's gotta be the punish. Or... Boogie silenced up. Nuke down. A couple of reckless from Bone 7 on the box. We'll do the trick and finish it off. Bone 7 still looking for Lizard and Backlands. He can't actually defend himself, so it's a two support sound already. Since a sexy Bambo, he's tanking all the aggression here. Guard on Mastermind, trying to focus him down. Ice Master will be back in a couple of seconds, so if they hang around for too long, might actually be punished here. Guard actually being brought down by just the A, by just the spam. And now Bone 7 coming in, finishing it off. Looking for more. Getting the box on a couple of people. It's not actually being caught. It's not Ecstatic Storm, but finally caught with the lasso. Three for one trade at the end, though, as the rest of Kai P comes in. Makes the trade happen. Lizard able to make his way out just for a TP after the Sunray. Oh, I'm actually gonna go into the Roche pit. Glimpse back into Sexy Bambo though. Maybe put a, put that on pause, but now Ice Blast on two in the back lines here. Both seven should be able to finish the level with the marks alone and some front lines. Sing Sing just comes in, drops his combo on two more. Now we even just pops BKB and still goes ham, right? He, he does have enough damage out for the least against heroes. Uh, just between the Natural strength right now, as well as the fuel wave. But now, Sing Sing not gonna be so lucky. He's just gonna be lassoed and static stormed down. A lot of ultimate being committed. Now, Zai looking for the coon, just getting the vision with the sprout. Meanwhile, in the back lines, reinforcements are in. Bone 7 looking to trade. And now, uh, man moding up against Garda. Pops his own PKB, and he will win that fight. Sun, uh, Phoenix Sun comes out, but will be right click down easily enough. The rest of Pro Dota, and they're just on a hunt. Won't even be able to walk far. The only one to TP it out successfully was the bat to item. That's my call inside the sprout. That one will go down, Sing Sing TPing in, showing off his fresh new boots of travel, and now he will get jumps back then. Face shift will not protect you from that. Now you need a buyback forced out. Death Prophet. Now Link Lasso up on his eye, so if they can get some extra damage out on top of him with Garda TPing in, they will be able to do so. It's actually a lot of gold coming the way. Unfortunately, it's gonna be the Koo picking that one up. He will back though. Hey, Bone 7, he's still going. Yeah, he finds himself a double kill. Little to no help. He will give his own life for it by the looks of it. And this one, God, I was able to pick up. So an extra 1k gold for him. This is the point where you say, all right, now it's Kai P who extended. It's gonna be uh, maybe completely deadless for God now. There is no reason for the. Overplay oh, right now. There'll be a smoke up that will be popped by Mambo, and so it's not even dying to that thanks to Ghost after now. But if it's on around, Ice Bath comes in on three heroes. Mambo glimpses back into the stacks, now Bone 7 in the midst of it all as well, though. Looking for the trades, and look up to stop this so far. Mastermind caught in front of Zai, just man modes up against him and the Coon. Be able to pick up the secondary kill as well. Meanwhile, in fact, Sun explodes, but Kai B dodging that damage and that lockdown. Oh, Dota just. Throw everything they have at Kai P, but it's not enough, not by a long shot. You got the Night Stalk, everyone else just ends up falling. And that's a GG well played big goal. Yeah, they just, it's gonna be a very stagnant game oh, until come with me. Come online. There it is. 
south comes out, but the blood will still be spilled. Darks here with the iron shell snagging that one. It's the first time we actually saw this kind of uh, this kind of damage that you were talking about. That we'll be able to turn around with dust as well as a blinking from Sing Sing the coon. Still has the surge on the iron shell on top of him. We'll be able to get a secondary kill for him. And now Sing Sing drop the wall. Sing Sing come with me, go for him. Bone seven with the rotation in. Try to get a link off, soak some damage with the lizard. With nicely placed, as, uh, nicely placed cloud. Trying to turn it around a little bit. The coon will still be able to stay alive. Boogie now with rotation in. Gets the stun onto the Bane. But now the arrow from downtown hits the lizard. They have to dust. They have to star storm there for right clicks from Sing Sing. You, you mentioned it, mentioning it in the draft phase. They don't really have an easy way to burst down towers. But now they're actually going to turn it into a fight. Ravage comes out though. Bone 7. Not quite dead just yet. With, the, uh, with Sonic Wave coming in from Sing Sing in the back. Trying to do the damage that they need. And now the body box from Bambo. Keeping Bone 7 alive just a little bit longer. But Vacuum Wall and back will at least claim the... Uh, Titan as well, sexy Bambo gets caught with the stun. He, he still knows that they can't really do anything up against him now. So at least he's still creating space for the tier 2 to be right clicked down. But now there's a vacuum wall after the blink in. And now he jumps out here on top of the death ward. Zion frontline though, so, taking up quite a bit. Not gonna help him. The bone 7 on the back line, so not Razor. And Bane also caught on the front line. Roche, before it happens, it's gonna be really, really bad for them. Well, might just hit the timing here, it all smoked up, Mastermind leading the charge here, blinks in, gets bone 7. But everyone else making his way out of the pit, Zai still sticking around, just waiting for a good opportunity to ravage his bone 7, pops his PKB, turns it around, gets a link up into the Fiend's Crypt here, Mastermind's gonna lose all of his damage here. Sing Sing finishes him off with the ultimate, hacks onto Garda, as he shows that one off. Nice little cast bounce here, plus the ultimate between the sexy Bambo and Sing Sing, but ultimately not enough to bring anyone down. It's the Bane who dies in backlines, but... It's not going to be enough to trade them out as Kai P just commit one of the Ravages to get another support and the second one to grab Garda who did not have the rage off cooldown at that stage. Now I'm just guiding him around with four staffs here, right clicking him down. Uh, now they actually see that Kai P slightly split up oh, as well. There it is, blinking into Bone 7, vacuum wall onto Sing Sing and him, but now yeah, they're going to turn it around. Sing Sing will pop his ages and Bone 7 pops his BKB as the cast bounces back between them. And now there's Zai. Does have a Ravage in a second here as the BKBs run out. He catches it on absolutely everybody and actually gets a kill. On to the Riki in the back lines just with a gush to the face. And now, well, that's an ultimate committer just for come with me. In the back lines, Bone 7. He's still quite a lot of damage earlier. Tries to make a count, unable to really do so, but Sing Sing. Well, looking for more second Bambo, finding Jonin Party as well. Trying to put out a damage, but. Well, the Garda Mastermind still quite tanked between themselves. Same for the Kuhn. Gonna be able to turn us around for a couple of heroes. He hacks onto Sing Sing. And now, well, Garda, the Coon, this is the kind of fights that they want to take, just long and sustained. It's probably just going to come down to how many the Ravage hits. Sai does have double Ravage available, sitting in the back lines are smoked up, so... Not being it seen just so yet, there it is, Ravage on four heroes, secondary Ravage! Not coming in here, thanks to the Sun from Mastermind, it's being gripped up, but just a little bit too late, and now BKBs come alive, Sing Sing Bambo, trying to wreck it down, same for Bone 7, they find Mastermind, where's God at, I don't know, he's still rubbing around, now finally the second Ravage comes in after the Rage were out, so we'll be able to bring him down as a result, only losing the Bane. Oh, Arrow comes in, almost it's a Lizard, but yeah, it's... Mid tier 2 is falling, top tier 3 is Zai taking care of that, they... Might be able to sneak some damage on the range tracks, that's what they're focusing on now, but blinks down onto Sing Sing. Yeah, but <laughs> Bambo doesn't even care. I just leave Sing Sing to try and create the space while it focuses on the melee racks up top to get with Zai, so we don't want to have this game over with and get some sort of tangible advantages off of these kind of team fights. And Sing Sing, evil, able to survive. Middle down here in the bottom line, yeah, he's just moved there too, bringing in another tier 3 in the back of Bone. It's just trying to pull Pro Dota around their own base. They and, playing them so yeah, just, hard. They're successful and here, they they get three racks. So Proto has to be careful here. Fiends come actually on guard, he might just die straight on the bat here with Rav Chance and on absolutely everybody. They annihilate with Sonic Wave in the front lines and right clicks and nice vacuum wall, but nice double vacuum wall doing a decent amount of damage, but they just all forced off in different directions. Garda might be able to get a kill here with a buyback coming out. But Sing Sing is there to try and help kite him out. Him and the Coon trying to do their best. <laughs> The entirety of Kai P is just on the chase. Five men wipe, six men wipe even with a buyback. GG, well played is called indeed. And Kai P, they are the winners here of the first series with this new and renewed roster, I should say.
Yeah, well deserved victory as well. Absolutely. They just played better both games. And I feel like it really comes down to the lack of the Darkseer Ricky combo accomplishing anything in the first five 